that we as a political class think that uh, elections is about uh, two divides. And yet elections is really for the people. That is the issue, right? Now, uh, as Senator Malala says very eloquently, they are trained towards 2027. They are thinking is everything about 2027. But that is not what we are thinking. We are thinking about a stable electoral justice system which will work over the years. We are not talking about the 2020. In fact, it would be very idle to talk about 2027 if you do not correct what happened before. In fact, there would be no need for an election if I knew that I'm going to an election where the opponent eh, has already decided because he is the one controlling the referee. There would be no point. There would be no point in, uh, um, in, 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 in giving courage to young people to come in the morning and cast a vote when they know that that vote is not going to count. But you know the tragedy is that all the sectors are sleeping. I can tell you and I can challenge you that the media is sleeping. How is that? I can tell you that the religious community is sleeping. I can tell you that the NGOs are sleeping. Because this thing is for all of us. Have you seen a religious community which has come to say, hey, we want to have a stake in this discussion because elections is for all of us. I have not had a media house coming out and say, no, we cannot have this system in which only these two people are talking. Are talking. We must take a share of this. I have not heard it from the NGO which was very strong and which was very vibrant in such an issue. So it has only left some of us on the streets to talk on behalf of uh, the people. And we are glad that the people are with us. The thing is, until we are thinking of a particular election, winning or losing that election, we still don't get it. Until we will come to a situation where we want to create a system which, uh, which, uh, which is fair for everybody, which goes beyond all the years or the electoral circles, then we'll be talking, of course, under the constitution yes. and within the law. Yes. And it can be done. It has been done before. And, 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 and you see, uh, our brothers here have been participating in the process of uh, coming up with the mother constitution all through. Remember in 2005, TJ? You participated when, when, when there was a, a referendum in 2005, the banana and orange. You even defeated the government. You participated tangibly in the reforms in 2005. In 2011, the promulgation of the new constitution, you are in the forefront. You are the ones who came up with this current constitution. So you guys are masters of shifting goalposts. You you push for our agenda if it doesn't suit you you want it to be changed you participated in the recruitment of the commissioners the ibc commissioners <laughs> using the same law that we are now saying that come on we can amend uh, uh, we, uh, we have amended the composition of the select uh, the selection panel committee and therefore let us work within the law that you created and now you're opposing the same process you are saying that the law does not suit you in this circumstance what you are saying the law should not be crafted or should not be drafted to suit certain individuals in certain situations. Let the law serve us, whether it favors you or it doesn't favor you. And therefore, I'm calling upon my brothers, come on, if you have a tangible proposal on how we can sort out these matters, where is the written proposal? You haven't even you haven't even discussed. <laughs> Who says that we have to have a, this written proposal? Where do you get this thing of uh, sharing uh, uh, written proposal? You, it, it is the it is the very hard of structure. No, it is the very hard of structure. It is the very hard of that written proposal. No, I will say that, that we, we are we going down the price uh, of unga yes. to one hundred shillings. Tell us how. Hang on. How hang do you want us to hang on? 